The weather outside today isn't too bad. It's not warm, but it's not as cold as it has been. So I'm gonna get out there, get a few miles behind me. It'll be nice, I got a few new Camelback bottles in. Uh, my older ones were, well, old. They were really worn out and it was time to kind of retire them. I'm gonna try and remember to bring my heart rate monitor today. Seems like I turn on the bike computer, it links up with my speed sensor and my cadence sensor, and then I get a blank line for my heart rate sensor, and that's when I realized, did it again. Not today. Today I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna glue it to me if I have to. Something else that I'm gonna be trying out today is a new pair of shoes. What happened is when I bought my new bike, I went ahead and decided to get a new pair of shoes. My other shoes were over 10 years old, so it was kind of time to retire. I found this incredible deal on some Shimano shoes. And so using the price point as my driving factor, I tried on some shoes and found a pair that seemed to feel fine. And so I snagged them up mainly because the price was just too incredible to pass up. Unfortunately, I think using price point as my primary focus in looking at shoes, I really did myself a disservice. Yeah, the shoes I thought felt fine, but I didn't really look too in depth or compare them to other brands and other sizes because the price was really what I was looking at. Every ride that I've done with these shoes that's been more than an hour long, I've had an issue with my toes on the left foot going numb. And that's just not a good thing to have happen, obviously. And it really made me hold back on wanting to do some longer rides. I kept thinking that it was my cleat placement that was really causing the problem. If you've got the cleats in the wrong spot, you're gonna put pressure on the wrong area of your foot. Well, that does have something to do with the issues, but if you've got a ill-fitting shoe, that's gonna cause even more problem because you can have the cleat in just the right spot, but if your foot is moving forward and back in that shoe, it's going to hit the wrong part of the cleat at various times throughout your ride. So, I went to the shop, really just to get my cleats adjusted and talk to them about how I can change things up. And while we were talking, I did try on a few pair of shoes that were a little smaller and, uh, well, I kind of ended up walking out with a new pair. But I was getting some arch support on there. The, uh, the sides of my feet were being hugged, but not squeezed. So I kind of had to bite the bullet and pick up a pair. So I've got these uh, specialized now, specialized comp. And I don't know, they're kind of neat, all black. I like that. I kind of wish the accent was blue only because the blue bike and blue's my color, but that's really not important. Um, and I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna give them a shot, ride on them today, ride on them tomorrow if the, if the weather holds out. And if they work out, I'm gonna keep them. If they don't, then I'm taking them back and it's kind of back to the drawing board. So today's ride should be fun. I've got a bag to carry the camera. I've got some new water bottles. I've got my heart rate sensor near me, so I'm going to actually wear it today. And I've got these new shoes to try out. But, I can't go riding in this, so... Alright, let's hit the road. So I'm here at Roosevelt Island, about to hop onto the Custis Trail, which will then link me up with the W and OD. Looking for about a two hour ride today, so an hour out and an hour back. And uh, this is the trail that I had forgotten about all the climbing from earlier this week. So that ought to be fun. But I'm looking forward to giving it a shot with the new shoes. Let's see how it goes. So I seem to have taken a wrong turn. I was following the wad signs, took a turn across a little bridge because the sign said so. Then I end up in this residential area. So I drove around a little bit, well, rode around a little bit, looking for a way to get back on the trail. I found a trail sign, but none of those are for the wad. So I guess I need to pull out the phone, find out what's going on, and find my way again. Figured out what the problem was. I just kind of missed a turn that was kind of hidden, but I found it again. Now I've been on it. 
This is the land of stop signs. So I've been stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. But so far not so bad. So yeah, this is a nice part of the trail because it's kept up better than the Mount Vernon. So it's not as bumpy, not as many cracks. The problem with the Mount Vernon though is there's all the trees right next to the trail. I mean, right next to the trail. So the roots buckle the asphalt. So with the wad, the trees are a little further away. So it doesn't rip up the trail as much. So that's nice. But we also have a straighter path it was following a railroad line. See? I told you there was a railroad here. There's a little caboose. So, we got more straightaways and less twisty curves. The twisty can be fun, but only periodically. I'm not sure what they're building there. So I'm now an hour into the ride. Well, an hour and three minutes. So I should probably find a place to turn around. I kinda hate doing it, because it's feeling good now that I'm on the trail and I've got these straight paths. But I do have a schedule to keep. So I can't stay out here until the sun goes down. Oh well. Normally riding is just a zen thing for me. I just let my mind wander. Whatever's bouncing around, bounces around. And I just kind of take it easy. Take in the sights. So here we are back at the car after two hours. I did a little over 32 miles and while it would have been nice to go out longer and get some more miles in, with everything else that I was doing today, that's about all I had time for. But that's alright, I can just get more next time. Uh, I did try the new shoes out and they felt a lot better than my previous pair. I still need to break them in a little bit and loosen them up, but these might be the ones for me. I hope so at least. I don't want to go on a big shoe hunt. It's not really something I have fun with. Uh, but yeah, I think these shoes are going to work out. Do a few more rides and see how they do. I guess all I have to do now today is go home, get cleaned up, get some food. That would be nice. But I'm going to go to the post office first, uh, send a few things out to my parents. I've got some inserts from the USA Today that I'm going to send them. There's this one here and uh, this guy right here. What's cool about them is that they're my photos on the covers. I miss being on the bike already. Ugh. Love being stuck in traffic. Yay!